I do have one more question for you, Doug. Um, yeah, you're fine. let's talk about awareness, right? How big was awareness in you jumping through career paths, right? Because we had another podcast episode and one of the people, Evelyn, who's a former intern of ours, talked about how she didn't see people like her or people who acted like her in the positions that she was trying to get to. So that made her switch career fields. Did you deal with anything like that? Um. That's a really good question. You know what? When I first started working at the store, when it comes to seeing, like, managers or DMs or regionals, no, I didn't see anyone like me. And I saw one person like me who I consistently kept in contact with. And as, like, I got moved up and up, Um, I'm still a minority, being a Black woman. Um, So that's very true. I did not see people like me or who acted like me. And in full transparency through my career journey, I struggled with people thinking I'm too sassy or what's, you have an attitude or what's going on. And I just, like, for a long time struggled with that because I'm like, this is who I am. Like, I don't know what why people are saying this about me and it's like kind of going back to like just having like that mentorship and like having someone that you can talk to and vent to because unfortunately as people of color and Ryan as a woman of color there are going to be certain things that people are going to say about you but like literally this past year and a half I really did some soul searching and I feel like people take action how they want to, but what was best for me, I did go to therapy. I was able to talk to someone really like, you know, bit about my problems because I realized I was internalizing them. And I realized, you know what, like, I love what I do, but like, this is who I am. So throughout my career journey, like this past year and a half, I've literally like, this is who I am. Like you can like it or you, you don't like it, but yeah, there was not a lot of, I didn't see anyone like me throughout my journey, throughout my path. And like the crazy thing is when you do see someone like you, like, um, cause we're based in Baltimore, if you guys don't know. And when we go to headquarters and like, I see somebody and we're like, I see you like Brittany. I was like, I see you. And it's like, now we've developed this relationship and we're here to help each other out. Yeah. No, and that's so beautiful. Like, I remember when you and Brittany, and Brittany is a friend of mine um, that I met in Chicago, and then she moved to, to Baltimore to work at Under Armour. But, like, when you two connected, I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, even Jasmine came, and I think she was speaking at, like, McDonald's, and, like, Jasmine pulled up and, like, supported, and y'all just kept connecting. So I love to see that. And, and that's so important in the in the workforce, right? You need those people who can – be your eyes and ears and and also be there for when you need support or you have questions as well because that's another way to like climb up the ladder in a, in a corporate company and jasmine for i sure agree with you i think that's such an important message like growing up my mom has always been like you know there's always going to be people out there that aren't accepting of who you are like what you look like you know as like a female person of color Um, like there's going to be people out there who just don't like embrace who you are. So I think it's so important to just keep in mind that like you're proud of who you are and you're self-confident. 